Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. First of all, let me invite you to the service tonight. Um, we have a great time in the Word. We, we worship. Uh, we always begin the service by worshiping the Lord and then getting into the Word. The youth also have their service at, 10, at 7 o'clock at uh, the same time. And so we would invite you to come and, uh, and to be a part of that. Today, um, I was telling Pastor Marsha, I think what spurred this on for me, this devotion, is uh, I remember a t-shirt that uh, we used to have, and she said it used to be Nike, and it's, it had splashed all the way across the chest in large letters, it says, no fear, no fear. And uh, I want to give you a scripture in Hebrews chapter 9. I was going to laugh before you did the scripture. Isn't it funny how the world picks up on spiritual things yes. and they don't even know they're doing yes. it because Nike is not a Christian or No, no, not absolutely not. In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 says, "Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus," verse 22 says, "Let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith." And so that I've entitled this devotion this morning no fear, no fear, just faith. Amen. I don't, you know, you think about the times that you and I live in right now. I mean, uh, it, it, it's like you cannot turn the TV on and there's not something about fear, the fear of this uh, cr- uh, pandemic, this, what do you call it? The, the, the coronavirus. Coronavirus, thank you. And then, you know, we just get past one variant and, and they went all nuts on that variant. And now there's the Micron variant, you know, and... and, and you know, the, they just... They, the, they feed on fear, though. They, they do, feed on fear. That, if you'll notice, all the news is usually bad. Yes. It's not, you know, if you watch the news at all... You never, you very seldom hear a good news, yeah. a good news story. Yeah. yeah, it's always the bad news, and uh, and what does that do? Feed your fear. Feed your, Feed fear. your fear. That's yeah. what we want. I, That's I, what um, they want. I, I've I've limited myself primarily to the weather. It's hard sometimes to be negative on weather, <laughs> and uh, although they can do that. Oh yeah. And well, uh, but the, sports, you know, yeah. those are the climate two that James, typically. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, there's a story in the Bible, and there's you several. You can get of negative that. about sports if you want to. Mm-hmm. If your team loses. You mean like Texas? Uh, you, know, uh, you know. Or Dallas barely. Oh, winning. barely. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Damn. Yeah, so no fear, though. I have no fear on. You know, I have so, no fear. That's uh, the difference. <laughs> that's there. right. That's right. You know, uh, I think Marshall, what's happened though is a lot of people. Especially, and in, in you would think Christians would be different from the world, wouldn't you? You know, because we 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 operate in a realm of faith. Everything that we're we receive to. from God comes by faith. Yes, and we're so, supposed to. So we trust Him. We have confidence. That's what Hebrews ten says. With this is our confidence you know, that with a full assurance mm-hmm. of faith, mm-hmm. so that where is the room for fear? And yet, a lot of Christians are still under the guise of fear. Mm -hmm. Every time they open their mouth, well, you can't see them open their mouth. They got a mask on. Well, it says that we live in this world, but we don't have to be a part of this world. But we tend to do that. Yeah. You're going to hear the bad news, or you're going to hear the things that cause you to fear, but are we supposed to operate in that fear? No. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's like um, I remember the story of Jesus, and uh, he's uh, in the... He's on the Sea of Galilee, and he said, we're going to go to the other side. We read this story, and we forget to read the very beginning. He said, okay, get in the boat. We're going to go to the other side. And in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the time out there, this storm comes up. And that's not unusual. If you're a fisherman and you fish the Sea of Galilee, that happened all the time because the way the, way the mountains are around the Sea of Galilee, those storms come up quick. And so they're going to go to the other side. That's what Jesus said. Well, Jesus wouldn't get them in the boat to take them into the middle of the Sea of Galilee for them to die, die, you know. And and so Jesus is asleep. Jesus is asleep in the boat. And the waves start coming in. The wind's blowing everything. And and when the, the when the disciples said, "Look, Lord, you know, do you not understand? We're about to die here, you know." And Jesus Sounds stood like up. Us, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. Don't you see the situation I'm in, Lord? I'm don't about you know, to die. What's going to Don't you know happen? how bad it is? Don't you, you know? see how bad yeah, it is? Yeah. We just start talking the what? Fear. We, we start talk talking the problem. The fear. Yeah, yeah, we talk the problem, yeah. not the solution. Yeah. 
And what did Jesus do? Jesus stood up and spoke to that. He spoke to the problem. He spoke he? to the problem. And the, what happened? And the problem resolved itself. He goes back and he says, you know, where's your faith? Amen. You know, That's where's right. your faith? He these, says these, that to us today. These guys have walked with him and seen the miracles. He's They've saying, seen the miracles. Right. He's saying that to you today and yep. to me. He's saying, where's your faith? Look what I've done for you in the past. Yep. Don't you know I will come through for you? Full assurance it's of It's a matter of, matter of trust and love of God. That, we re- that, yes. That's what we're waiting on. Amen. That. That's exactly it. So, hey, listen, no fear. Amen. No fear. That's what we should have. Yeah. That should be out of our mouths. God bless.